So I had an idea that maybe I could read and record and share those readings with people that might find um, some comfort in what I'm reading or some interest. Um, right now, I am about halfway through a book called Aging for Beginners. Um, called Aging for Beginners um, by Ezra Beta with Elizabeth Hamilton. Aging for Beginners. And we all know I'm aging and I saw this book at my mother's and I thought, why not read and learn about that now instead of waiting until I really feel like I'm aging, which I do in some ways, but in other ways I still feel, there's a part of me that sometimes feels like I'm 17 <laughs> or something, um, or 20 or 34 or, yeah, I don't know. But I'm getting older and I want to learn about what it means to age in a healthy way. And I'm on page 105 in the chapter Loneliness and Helplessness. And I found a very um, poignant paragraph. It says, even though we may feel being lonely, it doesn't mean we can't still enjoy being by ourselves or being quiet. Enjoying Solitude can be wonderful, although often it doesn't take long for the urge for activity or entertainment to arise. We can watch this urge when it arises and choose to follow it, or we can notice it and return to and remain in solitude. The capacity to be alone is essential in transforming the pain of loneliness into the settledness of solitude. That is, of being at home with oneself. And yet, when loneliness hits us, the ability to feel at home in our own skin will not come to us naturally. I think that's a really um, very relatable paragraph. Um, this book has really opened my eyes to how we make things more difficult than they really are. And if we can learn to just accept our life stages as they come and um, try to embrace them as much as we can. And I speak of someone with chronic pain, a thyroid condition, arthritis happening, carpal tunnel, and occasional migraines still, and um, I now have something called Raynaud's syndrome where the winter is very brutal on my hands and feet. They don't want to warm up and when they finally do they're burning like they're on fire. Anyway, that's what's starting now. And in the past, I would be kind of losing my mind, like, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to do this. And never. And that's how I was three years ago, four years ago, this year, September 1st, 19, I mean, September 1st, 2016, back at work, still with chronic pain issues from my work environment, got injured, and I suffered. I allowed myself to suffer. I 
mean, the pain was excruciating, and it still sometimes is. But I finally learned how to just kind of think of it as an annoying situation that only annoys me for a few minutes at a time. Oh, there's menopause, which is five minutes of in every hour of a little bit of misery. So anyway, um, I will continue to share some bits and pieces of the stories I'm reading. <laughs>